Hello again, today we're back with the Jet Revelation Reverb, but today I'm gonna take you through some more advanced MIDI tips and tricks. Let's get into it. Okay, so let me show you what we've got here today. We've got our Bridge 4 MIDI controller and our Jet Revelation Reverb, and today we've got it actually hooked up to an audio loop playing through the laptop. So we got our expression pedal over here on the right, that's set on the bridge here, and as we move the pedal you can see the bar graph changes. Flexi port 1 is set to TRS type A, MIDI out to the Jet Revelation. And you can see here on the bridge 4, we've got this whole bank set up. We've got two different sequential switches, and we've got a scrolling switch here, as well as our bypass engage that we set up in the first video. So I'll quickly just go through all these, and then we'll play the audio and see how it's all working. So we've got our bypass on and off switch, which is bypassing the pedal. Our preset scrolls through the jet. As you can see, the color's changing over there. We've got mode change. So I've just selected three different modes here. And as we press this sequential switch, it changes between plate, shimmer, and room reverb types. And also we've got the pre-delay length set on this other sequential switch. So as I press that, that goes through the 0, 50, and 100 milliseconds of pre-delay, which uh, is alternately controlled by the toggle over here on the Jet Revelation. One of the great things about MIDI pedals is that you can break out of the standard preset settings and with individual controls being able to be set by MIDI, you don't have to be limited by presets as to what the pedal is set to. When you're in the middle of playing, you can use your expression pedal to dial up one, two, three, or even all four of these knobs on the Jet Revelation and you can be changing that toggle switch which you can't normally do in the middle of playing you can uh, be changing through presets as well as changing those knobs and you can of course be bypassing and engaging multiple pedals all at once obviously when you have more pedals than we've got going on here today but let me show you what this particular setup does and then we'll walk through how i've set that up on the bridge editor so I'll just start playing the audio loop here. Okay, so let's turn the Jet Revelation on. And as I change the presets, and turn up the decay knob, which I have on the expression pedal, you'll hear that reverb starting to come in. Change our pre-delay length. Turn that back off. Now we'll change our reverb type. You can hear that reverb character change significantly. shimmer there. Back to room. And as I take the decay knob back down with the foot controller, you're basically just turning it back into a dry signal. So I can turn that back up. Disengage the pedal. The tails are still playing. The tails run out and reverb is created. So what we've got here is a super easy interface to use to expand on the settings that are instantly available on the front of the Jet Revelation. Um, for example, we've taken this decay knob and we've turned it into a foot controller. We've taken things that we can't change unless we're changing presets like the reverb mode and we've put that on an extra foot switch. We've got the presets cycling up and down here which means that if your pedal is on the back of your pedal board and you can't reach it with your foot then this MIDI controller at the front of your board can let you change through those presets. This toggle switch which you can't get to when you're playing your guitar you can now press that with your foot and cycle it between 
all three of those positions. Of course, you can stack so many of these controls all up together. So I could, if I want, select which pre-delay I want with which reverb type, and I can actually combine those into a single switch. So if I want room, and I always want room to have 50 milliseconds of pre-delay, in that sequential step, I can just add both of those MIDI messages together. So I always say there's two ways you can set up a pedal, exactly the way you want it, or is in such a flexible way that you can do anything you want with it at any time. So let's jump over to the computer and we'll jump on the bridge editor and I'll show you how this bank is set up. So what we have is a toggle switch, a sequential switch, another sequential switch, and a scrolling mode switch. So they're the modes that these switches are set to. And let's click on switch one and I'll show you in the switch settings that this one is in toggle. Go to the next switch. Switch two is in sequential mode. Switch three is in scrolling mode. And switch four is also in sequential mode. So let's go back to switch one and look at the messages we've got. On toggle on and toggle off, we've got the bypass and engage messages, which we set up in the first video. On switch two, toggle's not available. And we go down to our sequential stack and we've set up three steps, which we can drag and drop reorder like this. But step one has a label that says pre zero. I've set the color as red. So I've got the red, orange, yellow as kind of an increasing lightness or increasing value of the pre delay. That helps me remember without actually reading the label what the switch is doing. And then we've got our MIDI channel eight controller 18, which is the pre-delay setting, and values of 0, 64, and 127 on those messages in each of those sequential steps, which changes that toggle value. On the next switch, it's a scrolling switch. We only have one message being changed, and that is a program change. So if I edit this message, I'll show you what that looks like. We've just selected a program change, channel MIDI channel 8, which is what the revelation is set to. And then we start on PC number zero. And that starts at preset number one on the Jet Revelation. And then the scrolling will increment that as we go back to switch settings in the mode. We look at our step interval. And we've decided to scroll from, zero, from one to 127 with a step interval of one. Change that limit to zero there. So it starts at zero. And every time it will increment it by one. If we wanted to stop at preset eight and go back through to zero once we reach eight, we just change that maximum scroll limit to eight there. And then on our last switch, switch four, we've got another sequential switch. Go onto the sequential steps. And what I've done there is I've added step one uh, with the label of room. And then I've looked up in our device library, the control message that you need for setting the mode to room. So that's channel eight, controller number 27 with a value of 22. The Jet Revelation actually has a range of values for each of those modes. And so you could use something like an expression pedal to cycle through all the different reverb modes that the Jet Revelation has. I'm sure that would sound very strange, uh, but that could be something fun to play with. If I wanted to edit that, I would just press the edit button there. I could change this to plate uh, or spring. And then I'll check the Jet Revelation spring message, which is 0 to 21. And then I'll go back to the editor. And then I'll change this value down to 0. Now that will activate the spring mode on that step. So it would be spring plate and shimmer now. So I'll save and close that. And we have our four foot switches. We have the toggle, sequential, scrolling, and another sequential. If we were to do what I said earlier and add a pre-delay message in with the sequential steps of the mode, let's go and copy one of those messages from the sequential step. So say 50 milliseconds, we'll edit that. We'll copy this message because we know that sets the pedal to 50 milliseconds. Now we'll go to the mode, go into one of those sequential steps, edit it. I'm gonna paste that message in there. Now this spring sequential step, We'll set the pre-delay to 50 milliseconds after it sets the mode to spring. So it'll set spring mode and then it'll send the message to set the pre-delay to 50 milliseconds. And then we can just press send to device. And all those changes are now updated on the bridge 4.
So just like I added that extra MIDI message to the steps so that two things are changed at once, that's exactly how you do it with multiple pedals. You can use those sequential mode switches to do some amazing stuff with multiple MIDI messages on different pedals. So you can use that to step through so many different settings all at once. And if you've really got your creative juices flowing, I, I encourage you to put two or three different CC messages on that expression pedal and invert some of the values, change the expression curve, the sweep on that, and just see what kind of different sounds you can get. Play with the minimum, maximum limits of the expression pedal messages, and you might find something that you didn't know your pedals could do before, especially when you start doing them multiple pedals at a time like that. So I hope that's been really interesting for you and helpful in learning how to get some more advanced MIDI features pumping through your pedal board. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.